I got a guy calling in on that. Want to check that out? In Richmond, California, Channel Lumber is a traditional lumber yard that sells primarily to the construction industry. Over the last 50 years, we started with industry, moved to the local contractors, and then moved to the elite contractors that uh, actually uh, build America. People that build skyscraping in San Francisco. And at one time, we had five bridges going here. We were delivering to all the five bridges and the highways. People don't realize, but they use a lot of timbers for supporting the concrete. It all starts here, in stands which have taken decades or even centuries to mature. Logs are cut into coarse planks at the sawmill and delivered in rough form to the lumber yard. 12 by 12 Douglas fir timber forms the foundation of the West Coast lumber industry. It can be modified at the lumber yard into a vast variety of wood products. A resaw is used to change the size of the wood to specific dimensions. Behind me is our largest resaw at this facility. Its main function is to resaw rough timber that came from the sawmill. That's why we call it a resaw. We'll be running this. Bust it down the middle, okay? We're about to start up our 60-inch resaw. It has two 60-inch wheels across. One's down below in the pit where you can't see it. The one up above you can see. This carries an 8-inch wide blade, 30 feet long. We're going to be center splitting 12 by 12 Douglas fir into two equal pieces of 6 by 12. The timbers move on rollers that bring them up to the operator who then feeds them into the 125 horsepower resaw. Attached to the machine's two wheels is a bandsaw blade. As it's pulled by the wheels, the blade's razor-sharp teeth cut the wood passing through. This resaw is capable of cutting 300 board feet per minute. Just across the way is a planer, which takes the resawn wood to the next level. What this machine does is takes rough lumber, surfs it to a desired thickness and width. It can surface up to an 8 by 16 dimension, which is very large, down to a 2 by 4, let's say. It's capable of running at speeds of 400 feet per minute. Unlike the resaw, the planer feeds the wood automatically. And instead of a bandsaw blade, it has four heads, each with eight rotating knives that do the cutting. The wood hits the top and bottom heads in sequence. They're running at 100 horsepower. Now it hits opposing side heads, which are 50 to 35 horsepower a piece. That gives you your final width. Self feeds out gets transferred on some transfer chains off to an automatic sacking machine. One man runs this whole operation. Okay, looks good. We start out with rough Douglas fir, four by eight. We've surfaced this down to three and a half by seven and a half. It's now nice finish. It's ready to go to the contractor for building purposes. Car two by four on okay. order. This lumber yard stocks around 5 million board feet of lumber on its 14 acres. One board foot is equal to a piece of wood that's one foot square and one inch thick. Since this yard mainly supplies very large jobs, you won't find the finer interior woods here, like mahogany or maple, which are used for furniture, cabinetry, and flooring. This yard is all about construction. In addition to Douglas fir, Channel stocks a few other species that have specialized uses, like redwood, which grows primarily in California, but also in Southern Oregon. Redwood is mainly used for decking, exterior applications, build a trellis, an arbor, anything outside. Redwood holds up very well to the weather. Also, uh, insects won't attack it, and it won't rot. And cedar, basically has the same principles. It's a beautiful product to work with. 
channel also creates moldings and shaped wood for a variety of purposes, as specified by the client. For this specialized work, they first have to create a pattern. As you can see, this machine has a grinding wheel which must be dressed exactly to the same thickness as your tracing pin. So we have our template, we have our cutter head, we have our grinding wheel. Using the template, the knife is then ground, following the pattern, just like making a key at the hardware store. This results in a perfect profile knife. Let's take a look at our molder. Here we have a knife that's been ground. Over here is our customer's profile that we are gonna reproduce. It's known as a tongue and groove, used primarily for roofing. So let's see it run. the finished product will be delivered to the roofing contractor who ordered it. This machine, and in fact all the wood processing activities at the lumberyard, kick up a lot of dust and shavings. To deal with this, every lumberyard must have a blower system. High efficiency fans called cyclones suck shavings and dust through tubes attached to every machine in the plant. Once the debris is captured, it's dropped down into a closed system on a truck for disposal. From here, it'll go what's sold as horse bedding, cogen fuel, and or particle board plants will buy our product. Impressive recycling.